Speaking of CGC and Jax, a big fan of this person, but it looks like we have Liefeld. Rob Liefeld's back in the news again, right? So CGC, they noticed they start, it's been around a little bit, right? They've had the character labels now and they have the yellow character label for Deadpool, but it's the Scotty Young Deadpool. <laughs> and Rob Liefeld is like, I'm not gonna sign this. And then it turns out that they got in touch with CGC. They've had a conversation and Rob Liefeld's just like, I'm not working with CGC anymore. Is that correct, Jack? Yeah, that's, that's where we're at with it right now, according to uh, the exciting Rob Liefeld Twitter, which whether you're a fan of his or not, you really need to be following his Twitter because it's just pure comics excitement. That is true. But how do you feel about this, Andy? I, I need to make a Twitter account just so I can follow Rob. Uh, like Jack said, Rob Eric. Liefeld's daddy. <laughs> that should be your Twitter account. <laughs> he will um, block you in two seconds. <laughs> he, he's entitled to his opinion and his beliefs, just like everybody else is. Um, and just the same as CGC is entitled to run their company however they want to run it. So uh, wherever things are going to fall, they're going to fall. And I'm going to create a Twitter account and watch it all happen right in front of me. What about you, Ryan? Do you feel one way or another? Or? Hey, I think it's splitting hairs over nothing, really. I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it, it, I can, I can see it from his point, from at one, at one side, but at the, at the end of it all, it's, it's not gonna, it's not hurting them. It's only helping them. This could hurt him more than, than, than that little image on there. I, to me, he comes off as a crybaby, given the news cycle that's always surrounding Rob Liefeld. This is like typical Rob Liefeld. You've almost come to expect it from him. I'm taking my ball and I'm going home, but. It also doesn't really matter to me. You know why? Because I can't think of a single book I would want Rob Liefeld to sign or send in to CGC grading. That's Rob Liefeld's. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> well, there's no such thing as bad press. That's the phrase that comes to mind. Yeah, well, exactly. So I know like on this panel, we may not have some Liefeld fans. <laughs> but um, as the lone Liefeld fan on the panel, I will say if you ever go to a convention that Rob is at, his line is epically long. I'm talking about as long as anyone you will see at the convention. He it used to be longer, I'm sure. Before he started drawing feet. I'm kidding. You know, but he is, um, <laughs> he is one of the most expensive at the convention. He handles everything through his booth. So you've got to fill out paperwork. Uh, it's, all, it's a very intensive process. Um, but the demand is there. So I actually, I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach. And I know, again, I know that I'm the Rob Liefeld guy. First off, this is Rob being Rob. Is he a crybaby like Brian said? Of course, Rob is a crybaby. But at the same point, like, that is who he is. And that, that is kind of like his personality. I honestly look at it from CGC, and I go, kind of a bonehead move on their part. Um, they could have avoided this entire thing if they just did what probably I would have done, if I was creating the, the label, I would have used a Liefeld image of Deadpool being that he's the most known artist of Deadpool. Most of the images that are burnt into your brain of Deadpool. And the label doesn't even have feet. So you're perfect. I was going to say, right. if, maybe they wanted feet. I mean, you know, right. he just, he just wanted to get this off his chest and he didn't care about the agony of defeat. Yeah, and it, it's <laughs> oh my god! Wow. <laughs> the funniest thing about the feet got dad jokes already. The funniest yeah. thing about the the funniest thing about the feet argument is Rob has gone on tirades on Twitter where he's shown you how many popular artists also avoid feet. That's actually more common than I think people people realize. Go watch how well, many that's times publicity he likes though. He's like, yeah, I'm the bad <laughs> he, feet guy. He has no problem. He's the one that did right. bad chest too, right? He has no problem. Oh, he has, yeah, 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 yeah. He, <laughs> he has no problem with being that guy. But that's the point. So he came out and voiced his concern, you know, saying, I'm not going to take part in these labels because presumably, right, we're assuming he was offended that they didn't use his image and they instead used Scotty Young's, which I get being offended. I don't think I would take it to that level. But there's a part of me that would be hurt that if you wanted to represent my character, that your ideal of that character was anyone other than my drawing. That's a fair point. So, you know, that's the point is like all of these books that are going to get slabbed are now going to have this Scotty Young image on it. Um, <laughs> you mean it's 98? Which, by it's the way, like, I, it's the ninety, it's the ninety nine, or and that's the only, or ninety eight. That's the only reason why they put that on there. Really. Oh no it doubt, says, but I actually please. think the cartoony Scotty Young image will, in a way, take away from some of these classic 
um, oh yeah, kind of first appearances, in my opinion. But I, the the pulling away from CGC altogether, I think, has an effect because, like I said, I've seen the crazy lines at his booth. I've seen how much business he does with CGC. No matter how much the narrative online is, Rob is a lunatic and he's a baby. I promise you, within CGC, they're like, "Oh shit, we just lost a whole lot of." Uh, SS money. But do you think he's somewhat cotton. butthurt over McFarlane? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe, but that's, that's, we're all guessing that. Like, but we talked about the McFarlane thing. My hope from the McFarlane thing was that we were going to see more people doing that. And Rob would have been a prime candidate to take and do a private signing with. If you had a private signing with Rob, you'd have 9 million <laughs> New Mutants 98 signed overnight. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, I'm sure that's some of it, but I just think that when this, I think when this image came out, it bothered him. And then I think when he made the statement, Nick from Slab Heroes reposted it. And he had some very strong opinions of, uh, you know, saying he would never sell Rob Liefeld graded books again because he's not taking part in the hobby. Rob actually responded to that with like a sarcastic, like good. <laughs> and, and, uh, and this is the thing is that, when people like Nick, who you know how many books he subs to CGC, when they complain to CGC, CGC pays attention. So then they got in touch with Rob. And I don't know how that phone call went. Apparently that phone call went terrible because it resulted in the total breakup. If I'm CBCS, I'm sitting back tomorrow. I'm calling Rob like, <laughs> what? You want the Rob Liefeld exclusive uh, yeah. label? What do we need to do? What do we have to do? Because CBC it's have it's gonna have Rob Life of Deadpool holograms in the yeah. case. Because yeah. CBC has has had nothing going for a while. Um, but it's also important to note Rob isn't the first one to do this because Jim Starlin had issues yeah. with CGC. Um, there's been people who have had issues with CGC and the way they go about their business and who have pulled away from them in the past. The other thing is. Some people have pulled away from CGC and then come back. So will yeah, Rob come back? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I think it's always going to get smaller because those people lining up to get something signed are usually having something witnessed. But that's the question. The you can image. still get it witnessed. Would you get it witnessed? Do you think those diehard Liefeld fans are going to get books signed by CBCS or just say screw it? I'm not going to get the book signed all together. I th I think they'll do the third party. Um, there's plenty of third party companies out there to do witness signatures and then take it on over to CGC. But they will let you, they will, Rob won't let you do that. His booth is run differently. He has security in his booth. You have to fill out the form at his booth. Everything has to be done there. You have to use his witness, not so your own witness. How does his, how does Rob and his witness know what label you're getting on your CGC book after the fact? Because that's because they fill chosen. out the paperwork for you. But they that's cho that's chosen after the fact, though, is it not? It's a part of the app. I think you have to put on the application. Really? That, yeah, that you want oh. that because you have to pay for that label. So they they uh, they would they weren't going to allow it. Um, but you know, it's one of those things. Uh, it, I think as convention season kicks up, it'll be interesting to see who feels the hurt more. Um, does Liefeld feel the heat or does CGC feel it? And I think, honestly, it's going to be a little bit of both. I think it's CBCS. Go ahead. There's a, per there's a perfect uh, image of CBCS. They can just get Deadpool peeing on Scotty Young's head. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, that's the image on the top. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think this is great controversy to open up the con season. I think it's going to carry into the summer. And I think by the time fall hits, we'll all have forgotten about it and everything will be right as rain.